I joked with my other girlfriend that we're like, literally our handbags have just stayed in the closet for quarantine. All of a sudden it got a raise. For some of you who are saving up to buy the dream bag or the ultimate bag that you want to have in your collection, maybe you're thinking, I have finally saved up $6,000 and I was thinking to buy a classic piece and all of a sudden you just felt like the bag had gone further from your reach. Trust me, I have been there. So from the price increase, we can foresee that a lot of other factors are going to shift and change as well so I want to leave you to this question do you think right now is the best time to buy vintage Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Vivian. If you click into this video, you probably have heard or read somewhere that luxury brands had a lot of price increases, 20% on Chanel's classic handbags. I had purchased my Chanel Jumbo at $5,500 four or five years ago. Price has gone up to $8,000. If you have $5,000 to buy classic handbags right now, before you could buy it, the price already bumped up like 20% more. You can't so you will kind of shift your choices into looking for something on the secondary or vintage market I have seen a lot of my Lux lover friends in the community sharing this video and I really like that you know they have breaking things down and also they've made detailed list of different styles of the classic bags that had gone up 20% which is absolutely insane I think we were shocked but a lot of us have already accepted it as a fact thankfully I didn't pass panic buy classic style handbags. Here's the catch. I did say I didn't panic buy into the classic flaps. However, I did get my hands on a few vintage pieces. That brings me to today's video, which is some of the insights that I want to share with you guys on whether the vintage market is also going to have some shift due to this global price increase. I have a few handbags in mind that I want to get for a while now, and I started started looking for them before the price increase from retail. I have noticed that some of these prices are crazy as well. The vintage market will eventually catch up with that because the demand for it will be a lot higher. I do think they will probably increase the price, but it's not going to be as drastic as retail price did. Eventually, the price is going to catch up. If you compare it in a curve, it's kind of like it was constant, it was slowly going up, all of a sudden it had a peak, and then it it's like going constant again. On secondary market, I don't see that drastic change happening. It's probably just always a slope that goes up. I'm trying to see if I'm doing the right thing. It just goes up and up and then it has a little shift and it goes up and up again. There are just so many different things that you can choose from. The price isn't really determined by the company. The price is dependent on the market and the customer and how much they're willing to pay. Another reason that I think it's time to buy vintage right now is because I did see a lot of bags that are just sold out. In fashion, there's always different rounds of waves. So we have seen like small handbags, mini handbag waves, and all of a sudden multicolor are coming back. I have told you guys that I found this piece at a really reasonable price, I would say for, for this bag, because I paid under $800 for this particular piece. I have made a video on this where in the comment section, a lot of you guys are asking me where I got it. The trick really really is you have to be constantly browsing on these websites because you never know who is going to consign the next bag that you're looking for or what the buyer has bought for the next launch. So it really, you have to invest in some time to find things, which I think it's where all the fun is because we love shopping. So that's one of the reasons it's a really good time for you to buy that. You know, if you are looking for something on your list, maybe other people are not looking for it because right now a lot of people are after the same collection that was launched 10 years ago and people are going crazy after it so all of a sudden the price for the um, Louis Vuitton multicolor collection has just gone up drastically I think I paid under $500 for the Wapiti case I'm going to insert it here right now the price for it has doubled I was just like oh my god I just bought something that had gone up in price so drastically wow it's hard to fathom another 
Another thing with vintage market is in fashion, designer are inspired by different elements, so they're always doing something different, but I feel like it's more restrictive and more limited as to what you can buy. Chanel, for example, winter time, they're probably gonna make more sequins bag, and for summertime, they're gonna make more PVC. But what if you have allocated yourself a budget to buy something in the winter time from the summer collection? It's a little bit hard to find that balance, um, I don't know if you run into that let me know in the comment section below because I have definitely run into this problem a few times when I went in shopping everything is fall winter season and they just don't have things that I'm looking for but given that you have a budget you can then look into secondary or vintage market and I have just fell in love with the vintage market because I had time to do more research and look more into it. This bag, for example, is something that I was really, really happy to find. I also think Chanel do not make things like this anymore. I did end up scoring this bag right after the retail price had gone up. I don't think the vintage market has caught up to that yet, but the price for this bag is already at $3,000. So it's really crazy to think, you know, how much more it's going to go up up on the other leather materials. If you are someone looking to complete your collection, maybe five or 10 years ago, you don't have that kind of budget because back then when I was just started working, I do not have that kind of budget to buy myself any handbags that's over $3,000. And right now the vintage market offers you that. So I can look back and say, hey, maybe I could allocate another budget for myself to get something from that time. So the vintage market offers a variety from all previous collection versus the current season. So I think they kind of go hand in hand. The vintage market, you can't find a lot of things that has really, really good value for what you're looking for, but you have to look for it and you have to look for it repetitively. When one place doesn't offer you the right price you're looking for, you have to look at other places. And often enough, I think it happens that you can find your dream bag with a very reasonable price. I think it's always a good time to buy vintage. You know, things you're looking for might not pop up right now, but it might pop up the next second. Like after this video, you should go check out the website you're looking for again. Maybe things you're looking for will be available. So act now, do it now. If you're not convinced, maybe show your boyfriend this video. I do think everybody deserves a chance to understand what each other is into because there's always a market and a perspective that maybe you haven't seen or haven't heard. Alrighty, you guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So thank you so much for tuning in today and for watching today's video. If you have not subscribed to our channel, I would love for you to join us. Click on the subscribe button and also find me on Instagram. I would love to hear from you and for now thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next video take care now bye bye it's time